Hi, Doug. My name is Rob Carr. Um, so, my study looked at, I suppose, the key characteristics of what happens in a senior Kenneth football game, but on the pitch. So, looking at the counts of certain things. So, I want to get an idea of what was an average game of football match. So, there's an awful lot talked about in terms of what goes on or doesn't go on. There's almost, um, almost no studies um, showing exactly what was happening. Many shots, many fouls, many, anything happened in the game. So that was the first thing I set out to do. Um, I also wanted to look down and see if there was any difference between top and bottom teams. So is there a difference in the normal characteristics of what goes on? And if there was a difference, what were those differences? So I analysed 57 matches. I've done I've about 100 games worth of data since. So I've added sort of 40 plus games since. But for this study, it was 57 games. Um, and that's the breakdown of, of what I looked at. So what is it, the top team and the bottom team, just to explain a little bit? So basically a top team was any team that had qualified for the at least the All-Ireland quarter final stage two out of three years, so 2010, 11, and 12. Um, so that was the criteria to select a top team, and then everyone else was grouped together about a bottom team. So sorry if you're one of them. Um, it just so happened that coincidentally the top eight that I selected, or the eight that were selected, happened to be last year's Division One teams. That's, that was just sort of how it worked out. It wasn't my intention. So I looked at 12 sort of top level performance indicators. You could probably do a study in, in almost each one of them separately. But just to explain two very quickly. So attacks are when you got inside 45 of the opponent, and attack efficiency is for every time you got in there, how many shots did you get off? The rest are fairly self-explanatory. Okay, so these are the, the 12 performance indicators. You can ignore the last sort of column. The, the first column on the left is the performance, so the median values of the top teams. So that's sort of on average what the top teams got in their games when they played bottom teams. And the second column is what bottom teams scored when they played top teams. Now, the ones highlighted in yellow are all significantly different. Okay, so you can see that the top teams, they got more attacks they take significantly more shots, and even from the shots they take, they score more often. Okay, so it, obviously there's a lot more detail in that, but they're the top sort of eight levels, um, or the, the eight that were the most significant in the final. Uh, this is just one other chart from the study. So, um, so rather than just looking at what the average is and whether you're above or below the average, I wanted to give people an indication about where on the line they, they came. So for example, this gives you an idea whether you came for simplicity terms in the A, B, C, or D category. So at yeah, the lower end, the, the lower columns there, they're the lowest value I found. So these are in for games where the top teams played each other. So when Kerry played Dublin or Dublin played Kildare or Tyrone played uh, Mayo, that type of thing. So they were the worst values on the left and anything above the values on the right were, were the maximum values. So it, it, gave, it gives coaches an idea about not just whether they were above or below average, but it also gives them an idea of where on the scale they come or where their performance comes. So what does this mean for you? Well, two quick things. So bottom teams perform better in every performance indicator. So every so when they played top teams uh, and then went to play bottom teams, they improved in every aspect of the measurements I made. Interesting enough, top teams when they played each other and then went to play bottom teams, they only improved in nine of the performance indicators, and as a matter of fact, two got worse. So they won less of their own kickouts, and they scored from less of their own shots. Okay, and that could be a psychological thing that when you play teams of a similar standards, you don't feel like you're going to get the same opportunities of the number of shots or the number of possessions. So your concentration levels might go up. And then when you play teams of a lesser quality or a perceived lesser quality, you feel like you will get another chance, so maybe you don't have to take this one. All subconsciously stuff, but but stuff that's definitely within the finding. Um, so hopefully what this means is for almost first time with some benchmark figures, certainly at senior to county level, to show what an average performance is and also a range from the worst to the best performances. Um, you do need to tailor any of your, your findings based on the opposition. And hopefully it, it, it longer term will show the, the value of having a profile performance, not just measuring game to game and looking at it that way. Thank you.